Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how primary alcohols can be oxidised to either aldehydes or carboxylic acids. We've already seen that we can categorise alcohols into primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols. Remember that with primary alcohols, the alcohol functional group is bonded to a carbon atom which is bonded to one other carbon atom. Examples of primary alcohols include ethanol and propan one -ol. Methanol is also considered to be a primary alcohol, even though it does not meet the definition. Now a key reaction of alcohols is oxidation, and I'm showing you the oxidation of ethanol here. When we oxidise a primary alcohol, we make an aldehyde. So ethanol is oxidised to ethanol. We also make one molecule of water. Oxidation is carried out using a chemical called an oxidising agent and a common oxidising agent is potassium dichromate with dilute sulfuric acid. Scientists call this oxidising agent acidified potassium dichromate. Potassium dichromate has an orange colour. Now we can write this as K2CO2O7 slash H plus and you need to learn that. However, rather than writing all of that out, scientists often just write a capital O in square brackets. This capital O shows that one molecule of oxidising agent is taking part in the reaction. And as you can see, we need one molecule of oxidising agent to oxidise one molecule of ethanol to one molecule of ethanol. You'll see why that's important in a minute. During the reaction, the oxidising agent is reduced from the dichromate 6 ion, which is orange, to the chromium 3 ion, which is green. OK, now there is a problem with this reaction. Aldehydes are extremely easy to oxidise further, and we'll be seeing that later in this video. So what that means is, if we want to make the aldehyde, then we have to remove it from the reaction as soon as it forms. If we don't, then the aldehyde could oxidise. Now aldehyde molecules have low boiling points, and that's because aldehyde molecules cannot form hydrogen bonds. For example, ethanol has a boiling point of around 20 degrees Celsius compared to ethanol with a boiling point of around 78 degrees Celsius. So what that means is that as the aldehyde forms, we can easily remove it by distillation. I'm showing the apparatus here. By gently heating the alcohol and oxidising agent, we produce the aldehyde. The aldehyde then evaporates and passes into the condenser, where it condenses back to a liquid and is removed. We can also favour the production of aldehyde by making sure that the starting alcohol is in excess, and the oxidising agent is limiting. OK, now as we said before, aldehydes are easily oxidised, and when aldehydes are oxidised, they make a carboxylic acid. I'm showing you here the oxidation of ethanol to ethanol and then to ethanoic acid. You'll notice that this reaction requires two molecules of oxidising agent. Now, when we carry out this reaction, we want to make certain that all of the aldehyde produced is then oxidised to the carboxylic acid. To do this, we need to use an excess of oxidising agent. Remember that we need two molecules of oxidising agent to oxidise a primary alcohol to a carboxylic acid. We can also use concentrated sulfuric acid rather than dilute sulfuric acid. And finally, we need to heat the reaction under reflux, and I'm showing you the apparatus for that here. When we heat a reaction under reflux, any volatile products are condensed and returned to the reaction mix. By heating under reflux, we can heat the chemicals until the reaction completes and we make our carboxylic acid. At the end, our reaction will contain a mixture of chemicals. We'll have our product, which is a carboxylic acid, plus any unreacted alcohol and aldehyde. We'll also have unreacted oxidising agent. Now, carboxylic acids have higher boiling points than aldehydes. That's because carboxylic acids can form hydrogen bonds. So at the end of the reaction, we can use distillation to separate out our carboxylic acid from the reaction mix. In the next video, we look at the oxidation of secondary alcohols. <laughs>